I don't know if you guys know this, but sometimes celebrities can be hypocrites. Buckley, what? No, not celebrities. They're all perfect in every way and would never behave in a way that's contradictory to their public image. I know, this is just as shocking to me, but sometimes famous people do bad things. So recently, Lizzo was served a lawsuit by three of her former backup dancers, two of which had been fired and one who left on their own. The suit alleges that they were forced to do things of a sexual nature, including a trip to Amsterdam where they were pressured to go to a nude performance, so a strip club, and one of the very specific allegations said that they were forced to eat bananas placed in nude dancers' genitals. You've heard of a banana split, this is a banana slit. Anyway, this allegation is backed up by a Facebook post from Lizzo back in February, where she posted, Amsterdam, ooh, were incredible. We laughed, we danced, we sang, we cried. We ate bananas. Like very clearly an inside joke. You don't go to Amsterdam and mention the highlight of the trip being that you ate a banana, unless you ate that banana out of a Dutch girl's canal. Hilariously, it also goes on to mention that the staff were pressured to participate in group Christian prayer by dance team captain Shirlene Quigley. Quite the contrasts. Prayer and prostitutes. I wonder if before mowing down on their minge meal, <laughs> they said grace. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for the potassium we're about to receive. And of course, the allegation that's made everyone laugh, one of the dancers claims that she was fat shamed. In the lawsuit, it's ironically written as thinly veiled concerns about weight gain. Lizzo was concerned with someone on her dance crew gaining some weight. It'd be like Snoop Dogg telling one of his mic techs, hey, I'm a little worried about how much weed you're smoking. So of course, Lizzo responds. I have a theory that the quicker people respond to these types of allegations, the guiltier they are, like they already had something prepared. But anyway, here's what she had to say. These last few days have been gut-wrenchingly difficult and overwhelmingly disappointing. My work ethic, morals, and respectfulness have been questioned. My character has been criticized. Usually, I choose not to respond to false allegations, but these are as unbelievable as they sound and too outrageous not to be addressed. You see, it's outrageous and unbelievable that a large woman would make comments about another large woman, right? Oh, it's absurd, laughable even, that I, a fat person, would fat shame someone. <laughs> Why? Man, you know how many jokes I've made about baby Ben Shapiro's height? We're the same fucking size. That's why I make them. Because I know how short that motherfucker is and how defensive he gets over it. It's entirely believable that a fat person would say shit to another fat person about how fat they are. She claims that these are former employees who were already told that their behavior on tour was inappropriate and unprofessional. And that, as an artist, she has high standards and sometimes has to make hard decisions, but that she would never make anyone feel uncomfortable. She goes on to say that she wants to thank everyone who has reached out in support to lift me up during this difficult time. Oh, <laughs> lift her up. Does one of her friends own a forklift? Ah, oh, Rodney, come on now. According to some reports, she's actually upset that more of her famous friends haven't publicly rushed to her defense. An article from the UK tabloid The Sun claims that an insider told their reporter that Lizzo was hoping her famous friends Harry Styles, Adele, Rihanna, and Shawn Mendes would show their support on social media, but they've all kept quiet and only reached out privately. Maybe because they know what I know. What I fucking told you like two years ago that Lizzo is not a good person. Maybe people expected better from Lizzo, given that she is a role model for women, whether she ever wanted to be one or not, and that she's announcing that her favorite person in the whole fucking world is a guy who beat the shit out of a woman. Because it's important to note, she didn't say favorite artist or favorite dancer or favorite singer. No, no favorite person. This suggests that she likes him as a person, and we know, as a person, he sucks. There was something else telling about that clip that I never included in the original video. 
as she's going to get her picture taken. One of her friends tries to get in, and Lizzo starts fucking squawking and shooing her away. That's how she treats her friends. It's Lizzo first. Everyone else waits their fucking turn. That's her true nature. So you can imagine if that's how she treats her friends, how would she treat her employees? Who knows? Despite all the evidence we have, maybe this is just some disgruntled workers trying to cash in. Maybe the dancer's performance was getting shittier and they were told to get better. And in their head, they turned that into, I'm being told to lose weight. Maybe they had previously told Lizzo how much they love bananas and strippers. And Lizzo thought, I'm going to get my employees a little treat. But when your own friends won't go to bat for you because they're like, eh, let's see how this shakes out, because it could be true. When the formerly full-figured Adele ain't rushing to tell everyone, oh, she's a good bird, that Lizzo. That's not a good sign. So, good luck, Lizzo. But maybe if you do get canceled, you can do what every disgraced celebrity who's unwilling to take responsibility for their own actions does. Turn political and start calling out them liberals who hate freedom. Employees should be grateful to have a boss that feeds them. I heard Silk's looking for a new diamond. Play your cards right, Lizzo, and the right will welcome you with arms wide open. Really, really wide open. Did you enjoy this little midweek bonus? I do this every week for my supporters. Support the habit at patreon.com slash dosabuckley and enjoy twice as many videos as everyone else. And I promise I won't force feed you a banana from any part of me.